everybody you might be a bit wobbly because we're driving we've just been and finished up christmas shopping off um food wise anyway all presents have been done and although i forgot to get a roll of wrapping paper but i'll get one of them from somewhere we've been and got some amazing cheese for cheese board so that'll be good um and that's it that's this day what time is it four o'clock i have done a bit of knitting and oh it's not back seat my knitting bags there i'm on the foot of rob's sock and then the oldest daughter rang and said oh i'm hoping i'll get me mitts for christmas no. i'm not have time to do them and she knows it she's only joking i'll just have to stick them in post then who knows what to, when she'll get them Fine. So, right, I'll speak to you in a bit. Bye. Here we go, it's advent time. Straight in. Well, we're on 21st. Yeah. Not many days left. We haven't even had that orange hot chocolate, did we? I'll make it tonight. Hold it down so we can see it. Macaroon hot chocolate. Oh yeah. A bit abusive, <laughs> Mine's mint pistachio. Oh. I don't know. Oh, it's like mint tea. What they have in Morocco, isn't it? Everything comes in twos. It's drops node and the colourway is a number. Oh, so yeah, that's it. I would say on camera it is a little bit more burgundy than that. But yeah. There you go. So today's advent. That. see you in a bit good evening everybody it's late tonight i usually like my um vlog already up by this time but we've as as you've already known i've popped a bit of footage in that i took in the car um we didn't get back till late and then we were starving hungry so it was a oven pizza and um chicken burger tonight so yeah uh, I did take my knitting. This is as far as I've got on my sock. So that's which way around is it? That's it. So that's the leg, this bit, heel, and that's the foot. So that'll be finished tonight. So that's good. So I'll be able to wear uh, cast Kirsty's socks, Kirsty's socks, Kirsty's mitts on tomorrow. Um, she might be able to have one by the time I see her, bless her. So yeah, so one of Rob's socks finished, excuse me, one nearly finished. Um, that's because I ate my tea too quick. So then I was thinking, it's going to be a quick vlog this, what else can I show you? And then I thought, I always show you knitting. I'm not a great crocheter, um, I'm still really learning and it, with any learners, I think it's your tension you've just got to work your way in now. Now I can knit and it's all really even and nice, but with crochet it's a bit a bit different. So I've done other blankets before in crochet, but they've always been sort of in lines, um, never the granny square type. So when Attic24 brought this one out, the it's the fireside blanket. It's that one. And it's squares with like a, I think it's a double crochet 
that's as much as I know. I am no good with terminology. Um, I think it's a double crochet border around the edge. Um, it's done in um, Stylecraft Special DK and it's the Heather range which is what the other blankets done in. Colours are absolutely beautiful. Um, and this is as far as I've got. I have sewn them all together right, so that I could... So, my, I'm behind it. Let me double it over and then it's a bit, it's a bit more dense. So that's what it looks like. I don't didn't know how to crochet them together, so I've sewn mine. Maybe that's wrong, but it'll be fine. It's only for when it's cold. So I've done that much. Um, I've I've not sewn the ends in, so that I know which is the wrong side and which is the right side, and then they'll all get stitched on together. Um, so that's as much as I've done now. Colours are lovely in that. Um, and I, I am looking forward to getting this done. Um, so once the socks are done and the mates, I might just sit and... Oh, I've got that other blanket to do, haven't I? I would have liked... Yeah, I would have liked to have got it done. Maybe I can just sit and do a few squares and make the squares up first. Um, but there's because of how it is, there's a lot to this pattern and they're all different colours and everything. But I did enjoy doing it. Um, it always reminds me of um, Handmaid's Tale, this blanket, because I binge watched it. I have watched it once before, but there weren't as many seasons out. So um, I think Rob had gone home for something and I stayed here and that's all I did. Watched Handmaid's Tale and made this um and then i'd stop and have something to eat and then carry on so that's that's reminds me of handmaid's tale do any of your projects remind you of things that you maybe were binge watching or i don't know i know um somebody that i were watching reads at the same time i do listen to audible books um and i do enjoy an audible book but yeah i'm made I might rename it. I rename all colours as well. That I have said before that would be my dream job, thinking of colours, names of colours. Um, yeah, when I was an nail tech, I used to rename all the gel polishes and and things and just make up a name. But I would like to, uh, yeah, I would like to think of names. But yeah, so that's the... It is a free pattern. If you go on... Um, attic 24 website all the patterns are on there for anybody to download um and they have done the june blanket meadow blanket my daughter i'm going to see on not what day are we on on friday we we did one between us so i've done part of it and then she's took it and she's doing it i taught her she can only do that one stitch but i taught her how to do it so she's finishing that off um I've done another one. Can't remember what which one it was. Um oh it's the ripple one. That took some figuring out and even now when I have a break I have to go back and read it all again. So oh I think Rob's got a break. We haven't even done Advent yet. So he's gonna be walking past in a minute. <laughs> Hopefully his back is really bad today. Um he has been to hospital, that's where we were out as well. Um he's been to the hospital today to for them to have a look at it and see what they're gonna do, see a way forward. Um that yeah, that's him rustling in biscuit tin. And we can see you putting something in your mouth through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh the stolen Any, does anybody watch stitch with mrs d she's been testing um stolen and she got some from Couplands, which is a local bakery to us um and the Couplands stolen is at the top of the list 
So Rob was out in Hornsey yesterday, not yesterday, day before, and he picked some, I told him to go to Coupons and pick some Stollen up, so he did. Really nice, yeah. Um, we have bought some Waitrose. We're Waitrose, weren't it? We're Waitrose? Yeah. Waitrose um, Stollen up today as well, pieces, see what that's like. In Waitrose as well, we got some um, mince pies with cheese pastry. Daisy, stop it. Um, they're the Heston Blumenthal's mince pies, yeah. So we'll see. They're a bit weird and wonderful, aren't they? But it does everything like that. So if anybody's had any, let me know. Um, and the most and... amazing truffle cheese. Oh, yeah. We've, we've been on cheese hunt today. That's the only reason why we went to Waitrose, because they have the best cheese Although they didn't have as much as what they had last year, did they? I don't, I don't think that cheese counter was good. Maybe it's something to do with EU. I don't know. Um, it's affected everything, hasn't it? Right, I'm stopping waffling on while he's not paused his game, but he can do advents. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna speak to you later. I'll do advents. I'll put the advents in before this, um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.